As planners, we deal with all kinds of schedules. Sometimes the schedule can be quite challenging, which has, uh, and you need to work on the schedule with multiple people. Let's say you're doing uh, a building, they might, and you, the interior might be done by somebody else, and the exterior is being done by someone else. If you try to plan all this together, either you can, you'd have to sit in the same time and work on the same file together or Microsoft does allow you the ability to uh, to create a master project and sub projects which then are, which means that you can have multiple sub projects that can be developed by individual planners and then they can be integrated together into a master schedule also uh, you get to uh, you know use resource pools which means that the, whenever you use a resource in one of the projects, you can see the impact on the overall uh, schedule, uh, master schedule. So it's a, it's a great tool, and today we're going to look at how this, uh, this feature is implemented. So first of all, realize that um, uh, the, the architecture is that you have a master project, and within, and so that's created as a Microsoft project file. And you have multiple uh, files, Microsoft project files, which are called sub projects. So they can be embedded in that master project. And that means you can see all the activities and you can create relationships between activities from the sub projects and the master project. Similarly, what you would do is you would create some, uh, uh, for resources, you could create a resource pool, which is also a separate Microsoft project file that only has resources and you define all the resources in that file and then you can basically assign those resources in any one of these projects and be able to see uh, the overall resource availability or usage across all these projects. So, so we're going to look at how this works and um, let's, let's get on with the demo and see how it works. Okay, so we are here in uh, Microsoft Project. And this is my first file. This is called restaurant and this file will be the our master project. And it, we have a bunch of activities. So this is basically a renovation project for a restaurant. So there's a approval, which is a milestone. And then you have to remove the old furniture, do some minor repairs, uh, paint and finish works, install new furniture, install digital board, and then it's do an inspection and then finally have the opening day. Um, the next project that we have is deals with, uh, so we are, we're looking at two other projects because when we, when we say install new furniture, well, then somebody has to order that furniture, design it and get it. So that is a separate project. And similarly, installing digital board also requires that somebody needs to uh, order that board and have it delivered. So if you look at uh, the furniture sub project, it has three activities, some interior design work, then there's an ordering process, and then receiving the furniture. And receiving the furniture is, is has a finish to start of 10 days, so it takes 10 days is the delivery time for the furniture. And then we have the digital signboard. So there we have, we develop the specifications, order takes about 15 days and then there's delivery and inspection for one day okay so let's go back to our main project and see how we can embed these uh, sub projects and link them with the master project so for that what you need to do is go to the project tab over here and on the project tab you see sub projects so i'm going to click here and then sub projects and select uh, furniture sub project so now it's there and if you you notice that it's uh, in bold which means that there's uh, this is a summary activity that we're looking at and if i click on the uh, triangle over here i can see the activities within that sub project so that's my first sub project now let me get the other one so again go to sub project and i'm going to get the digital board 
click on that and insert. So I have both sub projects in there. Right now they're not linked to anything. They're just sitting over there. So we need to create the links. So let's do that for the furniture. For the furniture, uh, my main link is uh, once the approval approval has been given for the project, then the interior design work can start. So I'll create the link. And the simplest way of creating a link is I'll uh, click on the uh, predecessor and then press control and click on the successor activity. So this will create a link between approval and interior design. Go to tasks and just click on the link button. So the link's being created. So once the furniture is received, then you can install it. So for this, so the predecessor here would be receive furniture and this and the successor is install furniture. So I click over there and done. So now you can see over here the uh, when the furniture is delivered, only then can you start installing it. So the relations are being created. Let's go to the next one, which is uh, sub project digital board. So again, the same link. Once we have the approval, we can develop the specifications. So select, connect, get this relationship. And once we have the delivery and inspection of the uh, digital board, we can then install that digital board. So the link from the sub project will be delivery and inspection of the digital board and then installation in the master project. So that's done. And you can see that the activities are now linked and we can see the critical path. Now notice that uh, I said that we have a 10 day delivery time for furniture and you can see the furniture is on the critical path. So let me uh, just go to furniture here and see what happens if I reduce the lag time so make this five days and if we go back to the main project you can see that that lag time uh, that I reduced is showing up over here so any any change that you're going to make on the uh, sub project will be reflected on the master project similarly I can also make uh, changes over here so, so I can say interior design, and I don't want to say work, I'll just say interior design, suppose. So if I take this out, just call this interior design. And if I now go to furniture, you can see that's been changed also. So any change that I'm making in one place is reflected on the other place. Also, when you go to the sub project, you can see that uh, these activities that are slightly gray um, are, sh are basically external activities. We did not type approval in our sub project, but this is an external activity that we linked. So it is showing up as a grayed out activity, which means it's something that's happening from the master project. And similarly, install new furniture is not something that we were doing in this project, in the sub project. It's also coming from the master project. So that those you know grayed out activities are showing external activities that you've linked with this project. So the next step now is <clears throat> we, we've linked these uh, projects. Now we want to uh, put resources. So how do we do that? Um, let's go to the furniture one and go on the resource tab. And you have uh, this button over here which says resource pool. So click on that. Before that, let me show you what it looks like. So let's go and look at the resource pool. This is the resource pool. <clears throat> when you are making the resource pool, you basically go to the, uh, uh, you create a project file, but without any activity, just go to the resource sheet and just enter all the resources that you want to share across the projects. Okay. So this is, this is where you keep all the resources. And then this file is going to be the one that's going to be controlling resources resource uh, for all the other projects. So let's go to the furniture now and see how we can get the resource pool assigned. So click on resource pool and then say share resources. And here you can see, you can just click here and see resource pool is what we want. So we say, okay. 
So now we are connected to the resource pool. What does that mean? Let's go here and assign resources. So here I'm going to assign the designer to this task. Ordering is by the project manager. And receive furniture is supervisor. Okay, so that's done. Um, and you can see that you know you've got uh, the costing there because I have resource cost. As soon as I assign the resources, it's done the costing. Uh, and let's go to the master project. And see what happened there. So you can see in the master project, those those figures are coming in to the master project because you I put resources. Uh, in the sub project, they are automatically reflected here. So, next, what we need to do is, is go to the digital board and assign resources. Again, if, if I had not assigned the resource pool, this is what it would look like. There's nothing there. And so, I do the resource pool, share resources. Again, it's already selected. If you don't find it selected over, you can just click back and then see resource pool done. And now that I have the resource pool over there, you can certainly see all the resources are available. So develop specifications for this. So I'll put uh, the project manager ordering process. Go to the supervisor and delivery and inspection to the electrician. Okay. So the costing is here. And let's go back. You can see the costing for the uh, digital board is also or there also. Now, if I go and click over here and try to assign resources, again, nothing because I haven't assigned the pool. So let's go into the pool again and select the pool. Okay, and then so now my resources are there. So remove old furniture, let's put that to labor, minor repairs. Paint, also labor, install furniture, supervisor, and labor. And then install digital board. I can put labor and electrician, final inspection by the project manager, and that's it. So, <clears throat> so now you've got all the resources assigned, uh, and you can see that. Uh, I'm getting the total budget. It's it's giving me a roll up of the total budget. Also, if I go to the resource pool, I can then see the resource usage. So all the resource usage uh, is visible here, and you can see uh, the project manager is working on st uh, three activities. They're reflected here: the designer, supervisor, labor. Uh, so this also gives you a consolidated view of what is going on with your e with your resource, even if the resource has been assigned to uh, multiple projects, you they can uh, come over here and uh, you know get a composite view of the assignment. So that's done. So I can actually go here and um, also get a basically a histogram for this. Okay. Let's go back. Once you've done this, um, just go ahead and uh, save this project and save the sub projects also. Uh, and the thing is that uh, you need to remember this: there is a directory structure here, so you need to have these files sitting in the same directory because that's how it knows uh, what to link to. So if you take this sub uh, project and put it in a different file, give it to somebody and forget to put it back in the same file, you're not going to see any changes. If you give this to somebody and they put it in different folders, it's not going to be linked anymore. So make sure that when you create a project or sub project, they need to be in the same folder. Uh, if somebody is taking a file and working on it, they need to put it back in the same folder for it to work. That's about it. Uh, hope this was uh, useful. Try it out yourself on MS uh, project and see how it works. Thank you.